Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a quick video today on whether having calorie counts on menus actually makes a difference in the amount of calories that we consume or purchase. This is really timely in Ontario because it's been recently mandated that restaurants and big chains have to post this information for consumers. So I was wondering, does this actually work? Is there actually research to support this? If there is, I mean, that's great and we should have been doing this earlier because what a simple way to help inform people uh, about the calorie counts of their meals and possibly inform their decision making so that they can have a lower calorie count foods. You know, with the idea, of course, that by providing this information to people, it would be easier for them to maintain or possibly lose weight. So what I did is I took a quick review through the literature and I looked at both a 2011 systematic review and a 2014 systematic review and meta-analysis. The 2011 review looked at seven studies and found that there was no, there was no statistical significantly different uh, findings between having a calorie count on the menu or not in terms of consumption or selection. And actually, this is a really good reminder about why you need to read a whole research paper through. Please do not just read the abstract and go on the internet and tell everyone what you think that the paper found. Because one of these studies in the paper that did find a statistically significant difference was 12 calories. <laughs> okay, 12 calories is not what we would call clinically significant. You know, that's, that, that's basically saying that while statistical significance looks at what's the likelihood that this finding would happen by chance alone, clinically significant says, so what? You know, what would this actually mean to us in practice and would consuming 12 calories less a day, you know, or less, depending on how frequent you go to a fast food restaurant, would that really make a difference um, in overall consumption? The 2014 meta-analysis pooled studies from, pulled many different studies together to look at this basically from a larger sample size. It looked at both calorie counts versus non-calorie counts on menus and also how the way in which the calorie count information was presented, you know, what difference did that make on the calories purchased or consumed? So it looked at informative calorie counts. Okay, that's putting uh, the amount of calories with respect to percentage of recommended daily intake. So, you know, they might put a disclaimer at the bottom, like um, I recently saw it at Tim Hortons, that an average adult needs between 2,000 and 2,400 calories a day. And contextual is using some sort of imagery or really quick heuristic like a heart or, you know, I don't know, maybe a vegetable, something that would denote to someone really quickly that this is in some way a good choice, although it doesn't really tell you what that choice is made of unless you look further. Okay. Again, this, this, this meta-analysis, which is, you know, something you could weigh even more heavily because it's looking at so many studies, did not find a statistically significant difference in how many we purchased, which is I think like 30 less, ca 30 less calories on average, or how many calories that people consumed, which is like, again, 12. So there's, you know, not supporting the idea that putting this information on menus really makes a difference for patrons. And when they looked at the effect of informative or versus contextual calorie information, they actually did find some promise for this. They found that people uh, purchased 80 calories less than I think consumed 67 less, something like that. So, you know, pretty moderate, but um, was statistically significant and does kind of speak to the fact that most people, if you tell them how many calories something has, they don't have any context for that. So how useful is that? But by putting some sort of, um, you know, color coded scheme or putting some sort of icon that might help people who don't have an idea of how many calories they need a day. Um, you know, whether this is a quote unquote good option or bad option. What I think is really interesting behind this is that by putting calorie counts on menus, there's a couple of inherent assumptions, assumptions that I don't think there's any evidence for. Uh, for example, one of the assumptions is that people treat calories like a budget, that they A, know how many calories that they need to have a day, which I think is laughable. And that B, you know, if they spend more here, they will spend less later, which I also don't think is just would be any evidence to support that. Because even if people do consume 50, 100 less calories because of this information, that's just one meal at one day. 
you know, what is it, how do we know that they're not going to eat 100 calories more the next meal, right, and offset that. So there's not a really a lot of uh, generalizability of this information beyond this one point in time. We don't really know how this would shape people's behaviors and understanding. And I also really question the idea of putting an average calorie uh, recommendation for adults between 2,000 and 2,400 you could put me next to another woman my same height and weight and age, and we could have radically different calorie needs. Okay, so, I mean, putting that kind of recommendation without having the context of what your body needs, I don't find very helpful. And I would really wonder whether that's useful for other people. I think the last thing I want to say is that I find it a little bit discouraging that this policy was put into effect when there's obviously no research to support it. I would love to know more about how this decision was made and you know, why people, why it was mandated in Ontario that this was the strategy that we were going to go with. It's not only that we're putting money into something that there does not seem to be good evidence for, there's an opportunity cost to that money. So the more money and time we put into this strategy, the less that we put into other strategies, strategies that might have a more meaningful effect on reducing the amount of uh, calories that people consume and hopefully um, offsetting the amount of people that are um, gaining weight and make it easier for people to maintain their weight in the environment. That's all I have to say for today. I will link the studies below in the description box in case you want to look at them yourself. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. And especially if you're someone who uses this calorie count information on menus to inform your decision making, I'd love to hear more about how you use that and uh, what goes through your head as you're using those, that piece of information.